Hi, my name is Akin Mika. I'm excited to be on your screen again today. And I want to share with you from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 19. The Bible says to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and had committed unto us the word of reconciliation. One powerful truth I want to show you today is that God is not imputing your sins to you. God is not a sin pointer. Religion has a way of making you feel as if God is just waiting for you to make a mistake so that he can use it against you. But that is not the Bible of God. In fact, what did God do to your sin? Let me show you verse 21. We just read verse 19. Let me show you verse 21. The Bible says, For God made him who knew no sin to be seen for us so that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ. So God allowed Jesus, who knew no sin, to be seen for us, so that we, who knew no righteousness, can become the righteousness of God the moment we put faith in Jesus and what he has done for us. I'm trying to renew your mind and your opinion about who God is. God is not sin haunting you. God is not a sin pointer. Rather, he is a sin taker and is ready any single time to wash you and cleanse you from all your sins, the moment you put your faith in what Jesus has done. In fact, the better way to put it is God has made provision available for the remission and forgiveness of your sins. The day you got born again, you receive that forgiveness that is already made available. God is not imputing your sins to you. And even if you're born again listening to this, and if you have an opinion of a God who is just waiting for you to make a mistake so that he can use it against you. That is not the Bible God. God is not a sin pointer. The Bible clearly told us he was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing your trespasses unto them. So the question should be, what does God impute to people? Since we now see that God is not the one imputing sins to people, what does God impute to people? I think Romans answered that question. Let me show you Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4. I'm going to read verse 8. The Bible says, Blessed is the man whom the Lord will not impute sins. Okay, let's see verse 7. Blessed are they, okay, verse 6 actually, even as David also described the blessedness of the man unto whom God imputed righteousness apart from works. What does God impute to righteousness? What does God not impute? Sin. Second Corinthians make us understand, chapter 5, verse 19. God was in Christ reconciling the world himself, not imputing their sins to them. So God does not impute sin. What does God impute? Romans chapter 4, verse 6. God imputes righteousness apart from works. This is beautiful. So if they ask you, tell us some attributes about God. You say, well, God is a God that does not impute sin. Rather, he imputes his righteousness to people who put their faith in Jesus and what he has done for them. What did Jesus do? Jesus died for our sins. He was buried and God raised him from the dead. Anyone who believes this will receive what we call the gift of imputed righteousness apart from works. So one more time, tell us an attribute of, of God. God does not impute sin. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19. What does God impute? Romans 4 says, God imputes his righteousness to people apart from performance. The moment you put your faith in Jesus, that particular time, you receive God's righteousness. And guess what? If you're born again, you are righteous. And your righteousness is a gift. Your righteousness is not something you have today and maybe you don't have tomorrow. Your righteousness is not something that you have until your next mistake. Nope. You are forever righteous as far as God is concerned. Why? Because you receive what they call imputed righteousness at salvation apart from your performance. Apart from your performance. So I'm, I'm really just glad to be the one unveiling this truth to you, telling you that God is not a sin pointer, he's a sin taker. And he, he, he has made provision available to wipe out all your sins when you put your faith in him. When you put your faith in him, you receive complete forgiveness of sins and then you receive imputed righteousness apart from your performance. So the gift of righteousness is made available to every single person, no matter who you are, once you put faith in Jesus and what he has done. What did he do? He died for your sins, he was buried, and God raised him from the dead. Amen.